What is up YouTube? My name is Vinny and welcome to Road Blast Media. Before we crack on, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and uh, like and click that little notification bell. So, today we're going to be taking the um, Royal Enfield out to uh, Pori Pori and we're going to have a look at the, uh, the, the river going through there and have a look at some of the sites down those ways so that would be pretty cool. It's not too far from my house. But before we crack on, I have a bit of an announcement to make. So I noticed a few commenters, uh, subscribers were uh, talking about maybe doing a sort of central North Island uh, ride with uh, some local Royal Enfield riders. So I thought that was a great idea and I'm going to be organizing a Royal Enfield group ride in central North Island where we'll meet up in Topor and um, we'll stay over a night and do a bit of a like two days of just riding around central North Island. So if you're interested in that and you're in uh, New Zealand uh, and you're keen to make the trip to come out and meet us in, uh, in Taupo, then uh, leave a comment and we can organise something and I'll get you through with the details and stuff. I'm still working on what dates. I'm thinking it'll probably be um, early January or something because that's when I'm on holidays and that's when a lot of people are on holidays so I thought it'd be a good time to you know do a bit of a two day stint but yeah if you guys are keen on that let me know um, everybody's welcome and I'll try and sort out an Airbnb and stuff that can sleep like you know 10 people or 15 people however many people want to come so let me know in the comments so I can gauge numbers and I can work everything out and we can have a really cool uh, couple days of just riding and hopefully get a few riders out. We've already um, got about four infields including me and, and my old man so hopefully we can get a bit more and it'd be awesome and we can roar through the uh, North Island. So yeah that's the announcement. Anyway if you're interested just leave a comment but yeah we're going to crack on with the ride. We're out on my uh, Continental GT today and it's uh, still slowly running in I haven't had a chance to ride it as much because it's just been the weather's been so bad but we have a little break from the rain for a bit and it seems to uh sunned up quite nice which is really good so hopefully we can get out and go for a little bit of a cruise so what have you guys been up to um I've just been cruising cruising along trying to make my videos but I haven't been able to really so um, this is a good day to get out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank God. It was raining full on yesterday. It was almost storming. But yeah, so... Yeah, uh, at the moment I have ordered ordered the uh, Tech 2 into 1 exhaust for the uh, Continental GT. That's on its way. Uh, I think it said it was going to arrive uh, November the 15th and um, we've also got a uh, air filter coming for this and the interceptor as well which will greatly improve airflow. We went with the uh, DNA air filter and um, yeah it looks really good and the tech exhaust teamed up with that air filter um, produces some very prominent power gains which is uh, really interesting and, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how much it changes the characteristics of the bike um, and I'll, I will be coming out with uh, more videos sort of involving that exhaust and I'll probably do a how-to install on that because I know there's a few people that have had troubles with fitment issues and stuff so to be able to I guess yeah produce a video where we can kind of troubleshoot those problems that people are having because it only seems to be fitment issues but once they kind of get round them then they've gotten round them so I'll see if I can produce a video which will be very helpful to people who maybe want to get a two into one or, and are having trouble uh, installing said exhaust so um, that will be good I'll also do an air filter um, installation but I'm sure that's probably easy enough where everybody can you know kind of already know how to do that one themselves so yeah this is um this is going past the Toriko shopping center as you can see the big uh the mall there and um this is headed towards the Kaimais um the Kaimai ranges they're a famous uh, mountain range through New Zealand the road goes uh right through the middle of them like over the top and uh it's a very interesting road I won't do that one today I'll be going towards it so you'll see some of it but um, I will be doing a video going over the Kaimai Ranges in the future because it is a beautiful spot. 
but unfortunately I'm pretty short for time we've got some things going on today so I'll just get out for a short one and head to uh, Pori Pori which is an amazing river so yeah stay tuned because there'll be some awesome sights at the uh, near the end of this video so yeah like I said at the start if you haven't subscribed yet please do so because the, the support to the channel means everything we're on our road to 500 then we're on our road to a thousand so we're getting pretty close to that 500 mark and it'll be awesome to get there um, gonna be seeing uh, it'll be good to subscribe as well because at the moment I've kind of just been doing local rides around like town but when I get more time on my hands there's gonna be some really interesting stuff and I will be filming um, the Royal Enfield cruise that we do uh, near the uh, start of next year which will make an awesome video where I'm hoping to get at least five or six Enfields out there and you know I'll kind of interview each person that, that um, with their infield and they can talk about what mods they've done you'll see what different kind of tastes people put into their infields and things like that so everybody's welcome by the way even if you don't have a royal infield if you just want to come along and meet up with us in, to uh, in Topor and you know come for a ride you're welcome um, you know ideally have a royal infield but if not it's um it's still cool and um yeah we'll we'll see if we can work out something really cool to work for everybody you know we'll um I'll see if I can organise a decent Airbnb and we can, um, you know, get some beers going and stuff, have some yarns about our favourite bikes and, and whatnot, and make, make some really cool videos. So I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, anyway, this is um, just coming out of the Toad Eco District in, in Tauranga. There's a lot of uh, sort of lifestyle blocks and farms and things like that. You've got your shelter belts protecting the orchards, as you can see there. Um, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful spot down these ways. I used to live way up the Kaimai's actually up on a farm, a 90 acre farm up there and that was an interesting, interesting lifestyle. Although I couldn't ride a motorbike up there simply because um, the driveway was just ridiculous. I would have needed like an ADV or something and you know, I like my cafe races as you can see. But um, yeah, so we moved out of there. It just kind of wasn't viable for us. It was, we were spending a lot of gas and um, our cars were kind of getting pretty damaged from the driveway. Because <laughs> it was like a kilometre long and um, yeah. So you can see there's the uh, river down there. And I think the, the dam is open today so we'll see some pretty uh, hefty rushing water. It's, not, it's only swimmable um, during the week and on Saturdays. And then on Sunday the uh, river kind of gets flooded out. They open the dam and yeah it floods it out when the power station is in operation and um, it's pretty much unswimmable but it, it does make for an interesting sight so yeah we'll cruise down there it's pretty awesome down these ways there's a lot of beautiful scenery um, lots of lovely trees and you can just see like open fields and stuff it's like even a little mining looking truck down there that's pretty cool and um yeah no it's a really really cool place one of the most beautiful roads in New Zealand especially going up the Kaimai ranges is absolutely wonderful might be able to get a view coming around here oh it's pretty blocked off by smaller hills but anyway it kind of snakes through all that and then when you get past those hills it um yeah it ends up ends up opening right up up to the Kaimais so how are you guys been anyway um it's always good to hear from you guys in the comments let me know what kind of uh Royal Enfield you have or what kind of bike you have regardless I don't discriminate I love all motorbikes um, I think they're all really cool and have their own niche, whether it's a 50cc or a, you know, 2.5 litre Triumph Rocket. I do not discriminate. So yeah, there's the power station, and um, oh, it doesn't actually look like the floodgates are open, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So yeah, I think the Pori Pori turn off is coming up. It's a bit of a dodgy one, so hopefully I can make it. Um, usually if there's oncoming it gets pretty difficult, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. I got no one behind me. And yes, perfect. Oh, that was a weird gear shot. Yeah, so this is like the Pori Pori district. And um... Yeah, there's lots of beautiful sights to be entailed. There's already some people down there, so I'll try and see it clear of them. I don't want to be pointing the camera in their face. Yeah. 
say this is Pari Pari. It's a very beautiful river. And there's lots of waterfalls and stuff. And then down through those ways, you can get right to the back. And there's like a big open water hole and stuff like that. I could possibly even do a video down there one day. But yeah, this is like the beautiful sort of forest area. That's just at the base of the Kaimais. And you've got some beautiful water. And that comes down from M McLaren's Falls, which are up those ways. And we got some lamb lambs. Nicely done. But yeah, that was kind of the video today. Just that I'd take you guys to the local uh, swimming spot. And uh, yeah, let you know about the big announcement. So make sure you comment and let me know um, uh, if you can make it along and if you're keen and if you want more information. I might set up together either a Facebook page or just an email or something that people can kind of communicate with me on and I can um, get back to them with all the details and information, and it should be a really cool couple days of just, um, riding our beautiful bikes around central North Island, and maybe going on the Thermal Explorer Highway and other things like that, so yeah, thank you for watching this video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and, um, stay tuned for more videos, yeah, this is Vinny from Roadblast Media.